This is Jeff Pohanka. We have a beach home in Bethany for over four decades. Our family loves the beach community. This video will share with you information on the wind turbine projects that are planned just off our shore. In 2013, the Maryland General Assembly passed the Offshore Wind Energy Act, which created two areas for offshore wind turbine development. They comprise 80,000 acres, over 125 square miles, with turbines as close as 12 miles from shore. Two wind companies have purchased the right to construct wind turbines in the lease areas. As wind technology has improved, the wind turbines have been getting larger and larger. They plan to use the GE 12 megawatt turbines, which are 938 feet tall from the waterline to the top of the blade. It is the one on the left side of this graphic. These turbines are 50% taller than the Washington Monument and over four times taller than the towers of Indian River Inlet Bridge. The turbines are truly massive. This photo depicts a generator which will sit atop each tower. It's not just a few turbines they're proposing. U.S. Wind, an Italian company, plans to install 121 turbines from Ocean City to Fenwick Island. Orsted, a Danish company, plans to install as many as 200 from Bethany Beach to Rehoboth for a total of 300 turbines. Some say you can't see 12 miles, the closest distance to the turbines, but this photo shows that is not true. The furthest ship is nearly 12 miles away, and it's not 900 feet tall, nor are there 300 of them. The Department of Interior conducted a study of wind turbines and found that they were visible to the naked eye as far away as 36 miles. U.S. Wind created this illustration of what the turbines will look like. Our ocean sunrise will never be the same. The wind companies do not like to mention the hundreds of red flashing marine and aerial warning lights that will be required. The night horizon over the ocean will be changed forever. Ocean City Mayor Rick Meehan has become alarmed due to the increasing size of the turbines. He says, visible wind turbines will be devastating to the residents and non-property owners of Ocean City with adverse and severe consequences. The two most important factors for Ocean City property values are location and view. Wind turbines off the coast of Ocean City will reduce the demand for both rentals and sales of real estate and reduce the pleasure of those who love the ocean. This will be devastating to property owners, both resident and non-resident. Wind turbines off the coast of Ocean City are the greatest threat I've seen in my 38 years as a tourism and real estate professional. There have been several studies on the economic impact of visible offshore wind turbines. A study by North Carolina State University found that 54% of renters would change their vacation destination with visible wind turbines at any distance. There are many articles that say these two wind projects will create 10,000 local jobs, when in reality, the two wind companies will create only 93 permanent jobs, some of which will go to Europeans. The nation's first offshore wind project came online at the end of 2016 at Block Island, Rhode Island. The generators were manufactured in France, the blades in Denmark, the towers in Spain, the cabling in South Korea, installed by Norwegian ships and crews. We simply lack infrastructure in this country. Some say wind power is free, but it isn't. The two wind projects off our shores will increase the cost of electricity by $938 million annually and with 2% and 3% escalators every year. Most of the costs were borne by area businesses. Studies show that the higher cost electricity will cause a loss of over 4,000 permanent jobs. 500 different bird species use the Atlantic Flyway twice each year. Many stop in Delaware to rest and feed on horseshoe crab eggs. They include 184 bird species that are on the list of greatest conservation needs. These include the red knot and the piper plover. Wind turbines are a threat to birds since the blades move as fast as 180 miles per hour. According to the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, and I quote, wind turbine development in this region will cause disruption to the migratory and wintering patterns of hundreds of thousands of shorebirds, raptors, songbirds, and waterfowl, and will likely cause permanent harm to bird populations in New Jersey, the Atlantic Flyway, and the Western Hemisphere, unquote. Marine life may also be threatened by offshore wind turbines, including the critically endangered right whale, which travels through our waters, and whose population is thought to be less than 300. The electromagnetic field created by the wind turbine cables are thought to interfere with marine life navigation. Delaware Bay has the largest population of horseshoe crabs in the world. Blood is drawn from the crabs and is used to test vaccines and medical implants. 
Horseshoe crab blood was key to making the COVID-19 vaccine, but there have been no studies on the impact of the wind turbines on the horseshoe crab population. Commercial fishing opposes the wind turbine projects. They will no longer be able to fish those waters since their nets will snag on the rocks needed to secure the turbines to the ocean floor. The natural ecology will also be changed since the normal sandy ocean floor will be transformed into mini reefs at each tower base. Government agencies that normally would have a say in these projects have not weighed in. The Coast Guard should be concerned that nearshore navigation will be disrupted by the wind turbine location, but they are silent. The military should also be concerned about the wind turbine disruption of radar signals due to the near location of Dover Air Force Base and the defense of Washington, D.C., but they are silent. The National Park Service is supposed to preserve the viewshed from the Assateague National Seashore, but they too are silent. The Maryland Public Service Commission, who approved these projects, paid an energy consulting firm to provide an analysis of their impact on air quality. The energy expert found that the wind turbines will cause an increase in regional emissions of carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxide. Thus, the turbines will have no impact on reducing the threat from climate change, such as rising ocean levels. So there is no environmental benefit from these wind turbines. Why do we even need them? But there is hope. An Nantucket group has filed a legal challenge in federal court to the Vineyard Wind Project, the first fully approved large wind project off the East Coast. Their lawsuit is based solely on the many regulatory and environmental requirements that the wind developers have failed to perform, and they are numerous. They include the Endangered Species Act, the National Environmental Policy Act, and the Administrative Procedures Act. Locally, the American Coalition for Ocean Protection, or ACOP, has been formed to finance legal challenges to the wind projects off our shores. Tax-deductible contributions can be made to the Ocean Environmental Legal Defense Fund. You can find them on the internet at oceanlegaldefense.org. We need your help to defend the beauty of our beach and our home values, and to protect the many species of wildlife that live in transit through our area. Much of this information is on the website, saveourbeachview.com. By working together, we can keep our shore the way we've always known it, for us and for future generations.